can't believe that it actually exists and that I get to sew in it. And it makes me ridiculously happy. It makes Lucky really happy too. We have a nice little sewing home now. And we're about to start the first ever project to be completed in the sewing room. And that is going to be my Anna from Frozen 1950s Disney bound outfit, which I am super excited about. My husband and I are going to go to Disney for New Year's. It's going to be insane, <laughs> but it's also going to be a lot of fun. So come on, let me show you the project. So here we have the pattern and the fabrics that I'm going to be using for this Disney bound pause play. I found this Butterick pattern, Butterick 6682. It is 1952. It's one of their retro patterns. And I absolutely just knew it was going to be my Anna costume because I am going to use this skirt. I'm going to use this beautiful fabric here that is uh, Disney inspired cosplay ones from Joann's. I got it on clearance years ago. Hi, Lucky. Yes. She's headbutting my camera. And then I'm going to do this middle section here is going to be black. And then the top section here, this halter top is going to be light blue. So there's a the black, there's light blue. And then this little cute little cape here is going to be the pink. So just like Anna's from her first Frozen movie. I'm really excited to put all of this together. I think it's going to look super cute. Now, some of you might be wondering, what is Disney bounding? Disney bounding is wearing an outfit that resembles a Disney character without it being a full on costume. Because if you are over the age of 13, you are not, I repeat, not allowed to wear a costume into the Disney parks unless it is for a special event such as Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. The main reason for this rule is because Disney has characters that you can meet already in the parks and it would be pretty weird if there were more than one of them running around. Love is an open door. Love is an open door with you. With you, with you. You don't like this, do you? What is the line between a cute outfit and a costume now, you may ask? Well, from what I can find, there is not an official line in the sand. Sometimes it might get a little blurry, but if the outfit goes all the way to the ground and drags on the ground, that is a definite no-no, according to Disney. And if you are wearing a wig to look more like your character, you might have gone too far, so just use good judgment. I've had this frozen fabric in my stash for forever, just waiting on a project. I'm pretty sure I got it in like 2014 or 2015 when it had gone on sale after the release of the first movie. Now to make the skirt work, I used the pattern pieces as a guide for width and length, but the curve of the bottom of the skirt on the pattern was not going to work with the pattern on the fabric. So I cut out rectangles for the skirt instead of semicircles. I then cut out the middle pieces and back pieces out of the black cotton fabric. This is representing Anna's black corset top that she wears over her light blue blouse. I then cut the halter top pattern out of the light blue fabric, which represents Anna's shirt. Next, I stitched the pleats in the next straps, and I ran a gathering stitch along the bottom of the top, which I then pulled the gathering thread until I was happy with how even the gatherings were, and I pinned them to the front waistband.
The next steps were to sew it together and then serge the edges to finish it. I don't get to use my serger all that much with my historical outfit, so it's really nice to be able to use it. Now, of course, they just so didn't have serging in the 1950s, but this is a Disney bound, so it's like half costume, half retro. Therefore, I used it. I need this to hold together at a Disney park going on rides. And then attach the back piece, which completes the bodice, except that it was too big, so I took it in by about an inch on the side seam. Next, it was time to assemble the skirt. I pinned all of the skirt panels together, stitched the seams on my sewing machine, and then I serged the edges to give it a nice clean finish. If you were very, very brave, you could just serge the seams, but at this time, that scares me, especially when working with slippery satin. I put a gathering stitch along the top of all panels, then pulled the gathering thread and pinned the skirt to the bodice before sewing it together. Then I had a wearable dress! All right, now that this seems to be fitting well, it is time to serge the waist seam together. I used a black 12 inch zipper for my side closure. It goes right on the side bodice under the arm. Now I hate installing zippers by machine, so I opted to do it by hand. I pinned closed where the zipper was going to go and then pinned the zipper to those edges and use a back stitch to secure the zipper in place. I also sewed on some hooks and eyes onto the straps of the dress, and then it was actually truly wearable. But the dress wasn't quite done, I still had to hem the bodice and I also had to hem the skirt. So this is what the finished dress looks like but I'm not done with my Anna Disney bound yet. I still need to make the cute hot pink jacket, which will truly complete the look and bring the whole outfit together. I use a fleece fabric for the jacket. It has one back piece and two front pieces with a center front opening. It also has a collar, front facings, and cuffs. For the collar and cuffs, I also had to cut out interfacing to make those pieces just a little bit stiffer. The interfacing was iron-on interfacing, so I just used an iron uh, to transfer the interfacing onto the fabric and it, the heat makes it stick. I 
I had to open up one of my thread racks, which I had moved by wrapping it in saran wrap to get the correct color of pink thread for this jacket. After stitching the front to the back, I placed the front facings along the front openings and pinned them in place and then sewed them down. Next I attached the cuffs to the ends of the sleeves. I almost opted like not to add the cuffs at all, but I'm very glad that I did because they are just so cute and they really add to the overall 1950s aesthetic of this Anna from Frozen Disney bound. I did not attach the cuffs the way that the pattern said to. The pattern had it, you do it a little bit differently. Instead, I stitched or top stitched the cuff to the sleeve and then I cut out a band and basically self finished the end of the sleeve with like a little cuff for the winged cuff essentially. So I just happen to have the perfect clasp already in my collection to add to the front of this little pink jacket for the Anna Disney bound and it looks so much like the one that she had in the movie it was just it was too perfect and then it was just a few quick stitches and the dress was ready for Disney World. So of course I made my on a Disney bound, but then my husband dressed up as Kristoff. He had gray pants, a black button down shirt, a gray vest, and then my red scarf as his sash. Video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and comment down below if you've ever Disney bound and what character you did. Bye!